how fast anybody can jump in and start having fun. There's no controls to learn. You already know how to play the game just by knowing how to move your body. The simple point of this game is to destroy the bricks at the end of the hall. It's like a 3D breakout where your body controls the ball. So Abigail, why don't you take it away? And you can see right away that things can only be done with the ball. Abby's got full control of her avatar just by moving her body. No control required. But hey, this demo is not just about waving your arms. You can also move around freely in 3D space. So we don't have to set any of the movements for you in the game. She's free to move wherever she wants. She can move in and out to hit the ball harder. She can move left and right to keep the balls in play. And when you combine this kind of full avatar control and the ability to move around freely in your living room, you're going to get true physical play. Nice pick, sir, Abby. So besides being super fun to play, Ricochet also keeps you in great shape. You can see by the nature of the game, she's constantly moving around. With all the multi-balls, she has to keep extremely active to keep the game going. This isn't a game where you end up on the sofa just using some kind of preset waggle command. <laughs> all right, nice job, Abby. And now with the power of the 360, developers get the full body tracking and the precision to build deep layers of gameplay. So we're using real world physics to calculate how each ball reacts to her body. So she can aim to hit those multi-ball power-ups you see down at the end of the hall, or you can just add more power by hitting the ball harder to generate all those fireballs you see on screen. Awesome job, Abby. Let's give her a hand.